This week on Saturday Night Live, the cold open featured a Sesame Street-like parody on the fictional channel Newsmax Kids. You're watching Newsmax Kids. At one, it's White Power Rangers. But first, it's Ted Cruz Street. A.D. Bryant appeared as the host, Senator Ted Cruz, who this week criticized Big Bird's promotion of the coronavirus vaccine. He called Big Bird's tweet, government propaganda for your five-year-old. I was mocked for attacking Big Bird on Twitter simply because I'm a human senator and he is an eight-foot-tall fictional bird. (laughs) Cecily Strong returned as Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, a Republican from Georgia. Today's episode is brought to you by Q, not the letter the man. He will tell us when JFK Jr., who is alive, will reveal himself and help President Trump reclaim his rightful throne. Hundreds of QAnon followers gathered in Dallas on November 2nd, near the site of President Kennedy's 1963 assassination, to await the return of his son, JFK Jr., who died in a plane crash in 1999. Green was the first open supporter of QAnon to be elected to Congress, and has publicly backed other conspiracy theories, including the false claim that the Parkland school shooting was staged. Thanks, Marjorie. Represent America. Big Bird also made an appearance, played by Kyle Mooney, claiming to have had a bad reaction to the vaccine. I read online that you can take a bath in borax, and that will cleanse you of any nanotechnologies. You sure, Senator Cruz? That sounds kind of dumb. You're dumb. Pete Davidson appeared as podcast host and former news radio cast member Joe Rogan. Here's some zinc, and ayahuasca, and some horse medicine. Well, why would a bird take horse medicine? I'm a human, and I took horse medicine. (laughs) Rogan told his 13.5 million followers on Instagram that he took ivermectin after being diagnosed with COVID-19. We immediately threw the kitchen sink at it. All kinds of meds, monoclonal antibodies, uh, ivermectin. Despite being unproven as a COVID treatment and dangerous for humans in high doses, ivermectin has received a recent boost from online misinformation. Embattled Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers said he conferred with Rogan about treatment after he revealed that he had tested positive for coronavirus. Later on Weekend Update, co-host Colin Jost referenced Steve Bannon's recent indictment. Sorry, I I should use his full name. Stephen K. Bannon. The K stands for three Ks. Trump ally Steve Bannon indicted by a federal grand jury Friday on two counts of criminal contempt of Congress. If convicted, Bannon would face up to two years in prison, which from the looks of him might be a life sentence. And co-host Michael Che joked about the trial of Kyle Rittenhouse, who broke down on the witness stand this week comparing him to Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation hearings in 2018. Man, is there a white tears law school that I don't know about? (laughs) Rittenhouse is accused of murdering two men in Kenosha, Wisconsin, in August of 2020, as the city was rocked by protests and riots following the police shooting of Jacob Blake. I notice that every time y'all get in trouble, you start crying and everything just works out for you, whether you're trying to beat a murder charge or trying to be a Supreme Court justice. (laughs) 